Tonight we discuss Wike's impending move to the APC and its implications for the River State APC. And Speaker Abbas says 10th National Assembly will give traditional rulers constitutional roles. This is Fox Politics. I am Mary Anato. Since his exit from office on May 29, 2023, former Governor Wike uh, has remained a central figure of political discourse in River State. This is not unconnected with his alleged impending decampment to the All Progressive Congress APC and the possibility of him being considered as a minister by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Sources say Wike is said to be moving towards the ministerial for River State, and one of the demands being tabled before him for the appointments is that he must decamp to the APC. Though the governor holds the prerogative to accept or turn down the offer, some party loyalists have condemned the alleged move, saying that Wiki is frequently derided, has frequently derided the party, and once described as cancer. They wondered why he wants to be infected with the same cancerous party. Well, joining us to discuss this is the chairman of Emoha local government area. He is Dr. Chidi Lloyd. Thank you so much, Dr. Lloyd, for joining us. Good evening. Thank you very much. How are you? Great. Um, it's very interesting that um, we're even having this conversation in the first instance. Many have not necessarily forgotten what happened on May 29, because many would say or the, those who were watching the elections uh, unfold would say that Governor Wiki has not hidden his love for the sitting president, who obviously is in the opposition party. And this has one way or the other fueled some of the problems within the PDP, in which Governor Wiki obviously emerged as governor. But let's start by addressing the concerns that the governor might be decamping to the APC. How true is this? First, let me correct an impression. You made a very a very, very dangerous statement when you said Governor Wiki had not hidden his hatred for the sitting president. That is not correct. I said correct. love, love. I said love. Oh, okay, love. okay. Love. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Uh, first, I'd I like to refer to your intro, introductory speech when you asked when, when, why we are having this kind of conversation. I don't know why we will be discussing an issue that does not exist. If you tell me in which forum or at which forum has Governor Wike indicated that he would be leaving the, the People's Democratic Party for the All Progressive Congress. This has not happened, and I don't think that journalists like you should be heating up the polity with unfounded allegations. Governor Wike has, is still a bona fide member of the PDP. And to say that uh, one of the conditions given to him to become minister is that he must defect to the APC. I want to quickly remind you that Governor Wike was not a member of the All Progressive Congress when he delivered the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwaju Ahmed Bola Tinibu, in the press when he delivered the state to him. So. I don't think that uh, we should be heating up the polity. Governor Wike, there is mm. no such plan, at least for now, to my knowledge, that Governor Wike will be leaving the, the PDP for the APC. I recall that Governor Wike is not in politics for his personal aggrandizement. For him to take such a decision, there will be high level consultations. Will he be, the question will be will he be going alone? What happens to the structure of the party? Of course, if Governor Wike is taking such a decision, it means mutatis mutandis that the entire river state will join him in that journey. So Governor Wike is not a politician of, uh, of, uh, of, of a small uh, repute. Governor Wike, uh, for the past, uh, before, during, and after the elections, 
have made headlines in virtually all the national dailies on a daily basis. So he's not a man who shies away from taking decisions. But the, the point I'm making is that there is no consideration for now on the table about Governor Wiki dumping the People's okay. Democratic Party. Okay, I mean, I'm very happy that you've helped me to uh, lay the foundation for this conversation. Now, you've clearly stated that the governor, who is a People's Democratic Party member, delivered for the opposition, knowing that your party had a presidential, presidential candidate who was on the PDP ticket, and you also had a governor. Had uh, in your hold on, hold on, let me just finish as asking my question. And you had a governor on the same PDP ticket, who, of course, you delivered the state for. How do you help me understand, and those who are watching, why you would be in a certain party and decide to publicly disgrace or embarrass your party by by returning somebody from the opposition? And of course, let's not forget that the governor also paid a cut to call on the president, uh, Tinubu, saying that, well, politicking is over, it's time for governance. Also, again, showing that he supports the president openly. What does this mean for the PDP, not just in the state, but across the nation? Well, I'd like, to, I'd like to remind you, if you have forgotten, the reasons for Governor Wiki and his four other colleagues of the G5 took the decision they took is not new to you. I'm sure you know the reason. But in case you've forgotten, I'd like to, re I'd like to remind you that the governors, uh, the former governors from, of, the, of the APC and the PDP met severally in Lagos and in Asaba. Governors of the Southern region met on a bipartisan manner to, to converse the fact that what they need now is a Southern president. After eight years of President Buhari's reign, that it is only natural and just for the presidency to come back uh, to the South and this was, this was the principle upon which uh, they did what they did. So it was not hidden to anybody in, in Nigeria. It was visible to the deaf and audible to the blind. It was uh, audible to the deaf and visible to the blind that Governor Wike had said that the PDP itself shot itself on the leg by not obeying the principles upon which the party was built. The party was built on the principle of rotation of presidency. That it is only natural that after President Buhari's eight years that the presidency should gravitate to the South. Now, Governor Wike and his colleagues did what they did based on that principle, not on any partisan motion. The PDP, if you accuse Governor Wike of any malfeasance, what will you say about the PDP? Is uh, under uh, his S Y chairman, Iyocha Ayu, who refused to heed to the tenets, the letters of their own constitution. So you must look at one thing that led to the other. If the governor Wike did not just vote face. Nobody had supported the PDP more than Governor Yeson Wike. You recall that while others were in far away Dubai and uh, Doha and in other Emirate countries. President Governor Wike and his colleagues were in Nigeria to, to, to support the party, to ensure that the PDP remained afloat. And one would only wonder why the PDP would not adhere to the provisions of its own constitution. So you must look at that vis-a-vis -vis the actions of the G5 governors. It is not proper for you to do sherry picking to choose the fact that Governor Wike shouldn't have been in his party and deliver another party. It was obvious that even the PDP and his presidential candidate said they can do without Governor Wike. We did not make any inputs into the presidential campaign, and they went ahead, even when the G5 governors had given them up to one week to the election. Of Governor Wike gave them that clear clear terms that the Yotra IU must resign so that at least that position can come to the South. 
because it was not it was not it was no longer talking about uh the 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 the, the presidential candidate since the presidential candidate had emerged they were only demanding that the 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 chairman of the party would come back to the south because in the pdp all we have in the pdp is just two baskets two baskets whatever was in the south would rotate after four years to the north and when it got to that time they decided that uh, they can cut they can call anybody's bluff and the people of river state mm -hmm. spoke with their votes and we voted for a southern president without minding the political party we made a clear statement it was not governor Wicke's decision alone we Rivers people came out in mass and voted Ashwaju, Ahmed, Bola, Chinibu. Forget those who are today quarreling that they were the ones who delivered Bola, Ahmed, Chinibu in River State. I'm sure that even Mr. President himself knows who did what during the elections. You could not be you could not be delivering two okay. two presidential candidates at the same time after giving instructions to your followers in the APC to vote for former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Now, because Tinibu has won, you are now conversing. You are now uh, uh, acting melodrama to say that you are the ones who delivered. The, okay. the President Tinibu knows who did what. Okay. Let me ask a question. Um, because uh, we've t we've had this conversation about who did what and why you know the G five is is where they are and all the things the choices that, that they made, but let me take you back to the national convention. If Governor Wiki had won the primaries and was the presidential candidate and the flag bearer for the People's Democratic Party, and the same drama that's playing out now, the roles were re reversed, and this is the card or you know, the hand that he was playing, would you be singing the same song and saying, well, it's it's in principle, would Governor Wiki not be really throwing stones and saying this was anti-party and maybe even dragging it all the way to court? We saw what happened in the case of Uche Secondus. We've seen many issues play out with Governor Wiki in this, at the center. And many have also queried Governor Wiki's actions saying that he, one person cannot be the party, that there are several other people who have voices and have opinions. But as long as, as far as I'm concerned, as far as you are concerned and Governor Wiki is concerned, you're saying that it has nothing to do with anti-party. It is just a principle. Where does this principle come up in, you know, your party's manifesto or even in the constitution of your party? Uh, but the, I'd, like to refer you, I'd like to refer you to Section 7 sub 3 of the PDP Constitution as amended. When you read, it will it is copious that there is rotation that the the, fund, the founding fathers of the political party based it on rotation. So when you talk about whether if Wiki had become the presidential candidate, of course that would have been the right thing to do because Wiki would have been a presidential candidate of the southern extraction. I recall that Iyocha Ayu, who represents the north. Was already national chairman, so it was only fair and just that you balance it, and that is why even in the constitution of the federal republic, that is enshrined what is called federal character, so that positions will not be lopsided on one part of the federation. That is what will bring about equity. That is what will bring about fairness. That will bring that, and when there is equity and fairness, it will also dovetail to justice. So, if we get, we are the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Where, so, where, not, is, where is the justice will not be in where the action that the G5 governors, including Governor WK, took? Yeah, I'm asking, since we're talking justice. No, you said that there will be justice and equity. So, let's talk about justice in this instance. What kind of justice was served in the case of the PDP and have you the been, G5 have you, governors? Have you, been, have you been listening to me? I'm listening to you. So what kind no, of justice was If you were listening to me, if you have been listening to me, the last question will not come up. I told you clearly what happened was the bare fact that the PDP refused to abide by their own constitution and recall that the governors 
of the, the of the southern extraction as the as they then were had met in Lagos and in Asaba, where they all agreed that they will support a southern president. And the communique but then, was but read. Then the change has can you hold happened. on? Can you hold on yes, and listen? The, change has... the communique yes. was read yes. by the former governor Ifain Atokoa, who became who jettisoned the, the communique that he read and ran off to become the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. So you, you can see for yourself what happened. So it doesn't matter how you describe Governor Wicke's actions, but we, their followers, we, uh, Governor Wicke's followers, asked him to do what he did. Governor Wicke is not a man who takes decisions so moto and lord it over his followers. We felt that the PDP was not, as it was then constituted, or had no business, had no respect for River State. So we went ahead. How could you, how could you constitute your campaign committee and you will not make, have imputes from a sitting governor of a state? How else do you want to describe the fact that they called the bluff? And we had hangers on to our, the former vice president who we are urging him to go ahead. They can do without Wiki. The result is what it is. The result is what you and I now know. We are no longer hearing them. The likes of Sule Lamido, Alaji Sule Lamido, the likes of Babangida Ali, the likes of Philip Swaimu, the likes, etc., etc. We don't no longer hear them. And the one who came two days to the presidential election, uh, uh, one who became the spokesman of, he was very prominent in the APC before he came two days to the election. Bawa. They call okay. him something Bawa. He was the one going around okay. saying all kinds of things. So we have, that we don't so have now time. it is obvious so that, that even former Vice President Atiku Abubakar may also have known by now who his real enemies were. Okay. Let's talk about the the meeting that um, the several meetings that Governor Wiki and members of the G five have had on um, the sitting president. Uh, again, these are just rumors. I know that recently the governor was asked if if they were if he were to be given an opportunity to serve under this administration, if he would do it. But then there are questions from pundits, and I know that you're an ardent supporter of Governor Wiki, so you'd be in a better position to answer this question. Um, many would say, especially those in the APC, don't forget that Governor Wiki had described the APC that he, of course, delivered the president for as cancer and described the PDP as a headache. But then, of course, he delivered somebody for, he delivered the president for the cancer party. Um, again, if he were to be given an opportunity to serve under this administration, there are those in the APC who will feel um, you know, that he's an interloper of sorts, and I'm using that word loosely here. Um, can a governor Wiki be trustworthy um, to be handed an opportunity to work in an APC government, uh, especially after what has played out in the PDP, even though you call it justice, even though you say that, well, um, the PDP did not honour its um, the rules and regulations of zoning, but can we say that the governor Wiki will not once again, if something doesn't go in his favor, turn his back on whoever his principal is? Well, let me also tell you this I'd like you to leave the president, Ahmed Bola Tinibu, to worry about whether Wiki is trustworthy. Don't, don't begin to take medications on someone else's ailment, Ill, right? Then, secondly, I also like to tell you that. Uh, uh, the, 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 the Governor Wiki described APC as it then was, as cancer. I'm sure today you would have heard that the national, former national chairman of the APC has resigned alongside his secretary. Now, I also want to tell you that early stages of cancer can be cured by chemotherapy. Early stages of cancer can be cured by chemotherapy. So I tell you that the cancer has been greatly dealt with. We have a new sheriff in town. So the sheriff is obvious what he's doing. You have seen the appointment of service chiefs. You have seen 
some of the policies that he has taken so far in less than 100 days. It's obvious signs of the chemo that is working. So the cancer is no longer there. It has been adequately taken care of by chemotherapy. So, so I like the president. So, so you're telling me that the, so you're telling me that the cancer, those. the cancer in the you let me, you ask the chairman, Facebook, are you let me respond? No, 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 I need clarity. Are you saying that the cancer in the party was the APC chairman and the secretary? Or is it that the president now becoming the president has cured the cancer automatically and the APC has changed you the referred me, me. You referred me to cancer and headache. Because and I am not telling that you, statement. I am not telling you that cancer can be cured by chemo. Chemotherapy is one of the processes of curing cancer. The administration that was then is no longer the same that is now. And we are seeing visible signs of a government that is serious. Now, this is the time for nation building. Governor Wike, if Mr. President gives him the opportunity, we, his supporters, will ask him to go and export what he did in River State to the center. It is not okay. enough to, to stand and be, and be criticized when you have an opportunity to contribute to nation building. We have no other country. There is no country for APC. There is no country for PDP. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Including that, which also includes president for members of all the over 50 political parties uh, that are in the country. Okay. So what I want okay. you to take home, what I want you to take home tonight is that the cancer has been sufficiently dealt with by chemotherapy. Okay, so this again, because you're saying that it's not enough to criticize on the outside, it's good to go there and also be part of, you know, the system of that works. So is, is it safe to say that Governor Wike did all he did because he wanted a spot in the government of Bola that, that will be a, That will be an insult, not to Governor Wike, but to me. You don't expect me to react to that what you term question to me. The man who has been former minister, former local government chairman, former chief of staff, former governor for eight years, not governor of any other state, governor of River State. You say he did all... Well, he, you see, you people are part of the problem. You do not... Well, he won't be the first governor of River Please, State. Please, I take exception to that. A, you don't bring government. me on your program to get me insulted. No, I will take exception to that. And I need you to apologize. But he, I need you to apologize to me. But but, but, I need you but to Governor apologize Wike to will me. not be the first governor to serve as a minister at the federal level. What of course, if Governor Wike, if the president finds him fit and proper, Governor Wike has all it takes to serve in the in the in the in the cabinet of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Okay, well, I want to say thank you. Dr. Chibi Lloyd is the chairman of Emoha local government area in River State. Always a pleasure. You see, I have to apologize for me. You. you see, I have to apologize. <laughs> thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for coming. Okay. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. Now, when we return, we will be talking about the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Abbas, who is saying that the a House of Representatives is going to make sure that traditional rulers get constitutional rules. We'll be right back after this break.